Hello there, this is Echo Echovonia Moyer 355 <clears throat> with my first Lego Star Wars set review. So in front of you you are seeing the um, 2014 Battle Pack Utapau Utapau Troopers or to be honest I like to call it 212th Legion Battle Pack. So here we go. So in front, we have some awesome 212 troopers, both both kinds from episode 3. We get, we, sorry, two um, 212 clone troopers, phase 2, under the command of Commander Cody, and two, sorry, two airborne troopers. So let's take a closer look. The phase two troopers. Zoom out here. Okay, phase two troopers. I gotta say, I really like this. Now, I'm sorry this camera won't focus, but I have no idea how to get this thing to focus, if it will. But anyway, we have um, so the orange markings, the orange stripes on the belt. Uh, just solid orange arms. And if you look closely on the helmet, you'll see some. So like scratched up dents and like dents on the legs and all over. That's just to show the wear and tear of battle on the armor. In the back, nothing on the helmet. Uh, just sort of continuation of these markings on the back. A little grenades and pouches. Or I think those are grenades. I'm honestly not sure. And yeah, underneath the helmet is just a standard clone face. The at least standard as of 2013. Okay. So yeah. Now these airborne troopers. I love these. I mean that is just that is awesome. So it, the pattern is not sort of as symmetric as the um, just 212 troopers because these guys are different <laughs> so on this leg we just got a plain white leg this leg we got orange knee pad and orange mark uh, we have a orange lined belt a bandolier sort of and I think that's like an extra armor pl plate another strap some more mark gangs solid orange arm white arm and uh, oh yeah helmet I love this helmet. I absolutely love it. I mean, just this new piece is so cool. And I'm so happy that they finally decided to make some airborne troopers. But anyway, we got the march up there, the orange down there, and the vents on the sides. And back, just got back of the helmet. Rest of the bandole bandolier strap, the other strap, and the grenade. The other thing that I love about these guys is the waist capes or commas. The light gray fabric, that's really cool. Okay. Over here, we get four stud shooters and six extra studs. The reason being, of course, if in case you like, lose any under the couch, which is, or just lose any in general, which is very, very likely. Now, the next part is the Octopatara droid. Now this, I like this. This is not a hundred percent to scale, but it's at least usable. Unlike the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack, which I will be reviewing, this Octopatara droid is kind of pretty decent. And you can use it in like mocks and battles and stuff. Now the reason I say unlike the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack is because the um, yeah the speeder or the um, swamp speeder that they have is this very tiny, and it's not to scale, and I don't like it. I, I mean like because they have a legitimately sized two scale swamp speed 
they have made them in the past. Two of them, actually. So, I just don't like to use the small one when I can use a um, full-sized one. But these Octopatara droids, on the other hand, this is the first time LEGO has made an Octopatara droid. And these are pretty cool. I like these a lot. One thing, on the directions, this is just a box art, by the way. I do not have the box with me. But anyway, on the directions, they tell you to put the legs like that. I don't do that. Because this sort of makes them stand a little taller. And this just, to me, looks better. But anyway, with the rest of the Octodower Droid, it can uh, swivel. You know, it's got three missiles on there. And uh, legs can turn if you want. So, yeah, these legs are all movable fully. The bottom joints are also movable if you please. I mean, if you want. So, this is just kind of the dome up here. I also like their choice in color. Instead of using dark blue, they chose tan. Good choice, like it. So, yeah, that's about it. All in all, I think this is a pretty good set. And I definitely see myself getting more. Because, now the reason I say more is because I actually got this just about two days ago for the first time. Yeah, I know, because in the past I've been spending all my money on like, Kashyyyk Troopers and, you know, other LEGO sets. But I just decided to buckle down and get one of these. Now I want more. So, yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the review. Please uh, comment and subscribe and all that stuff. And just comment and subscribe applies to my last videos. I'm sorry I didn't mention it, but yeah. So, anyway, this is Echolonial Warrior 355.